Hello, 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 hello. Yeah, it's me. Just, just here. Okay. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Anyhow, um, so I'm gonna talk to you guys about some things. Maybe it'll resonate with you. Maybe it won't. If it does, let me know how it resonates with you down in the comments section. Especially if you are sun sign Aquarius, okay? Uh, but this could resonate with any person. And you can have any, you can have Aquarius in any placement in your chart. You could be any sun, moon, rising sign. It doesn't matter, okay? Um, so why I'm here is initially, you know, God just spoke to me and just said, you know what, tell the people about me through you. Okay. So, I'm, a, I'm just going to talk. And again, it might resonate, it might not. Um, you all know that I do not read the Tarot on YouTube anymore. I don't read for people um, publicly anymore. Um, and I have my, my reasons behind that. I, but this won't be the video where I talk about that because I don't want it to go into that. Anyhow, back to what I said about, you know, God telling me to tell the people about him through me. So this will be more of a personal video. More about me and my journey, where I am right now. So we all know, we've all heard, we're all hearing that this is a season of abundance and it is it is a season of abundance now abundance just means more than enough you know overflow you have enough to give away you have enough to store up you have more than enough right now abundance of you would have to fill in the blank friendship love money but this is a season of abundance but in that season, when you hear that statement, everybody gets excited. Everybody's like, oh, great, a season of overflow and abundance. Yes, yes, yes. Great. We all want it. Most of us need it. Um, it's a beautiful thing. But for you to really be in that season, it can be interesting for some of us. For me, right? It can be interesting because... In order to be in a season of abundance or receiving, um, having more than enough overflow, you have to be still. Mm. That's a word for a lot of us because a lot of us don't know how to sit still, to not do, to not be active in our own plans. At this time, it's it's. For whoever this is going to resonate for, this is a season of where God is saying you have to sit still in order to receive the abundance. Because the abundance is not going to chase after you while you're doing X, Y, and Z. And you're trying to institute, bring into fruition, start up, uh, reposition, remanage, whatever. Redecorate your entire life. It's not going to chase after you. You have to be in a place of abundance so that you can receive and again for a lot of us that is maybe even the hardest thing that you'll ever do because you have to really go into a place of knowing that the seeds you planted the things you've done the things you said the changes you've made you're going to get a return on it it's owed to you it's due unto you but you can't get it unless you sit still it's like, you know, um, I've got one scripture here, Psalms uh, 121.3. It says, Behold the fowls of the air, so the birds of the air, for they sow not, nor do they reap, nor gather into barns. So they don't, they're not storing up stuff. They're not saving like, you know, people would do. They're not doing any of that. Yet your heavenly father feedeth them. Yet they get fed. My, my God, they, they're going to find a worm. They're going to find whatever they eat. They're going to find it. And then it goes and says, are you not much better than they? Are you not much better than a bird? You know, is your life 
not as important as a bird's life. Of course, your life is. And for some of us, even more important than uh, a mere bird. So what I was gathering from this scripture is that you have to allow abundance to happen to you. You know, it's not something that you, you chase after. You, it's not, I'm starting this, I'm starting that, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. And then I want God to bless it. No, it's the other way around. It's stay still. Listen to my instruction, my word. And you'll get the blessing because you're still. And again, that's the hardest thing for some of us to do because some of us are so very active and proactive and you can go into masculine and feminine energy. You know, um, some, of, some of us have more masculine energy within us. So we are initiators, we're doers, we bring into fruition, we institute, we have an idea, we move on the idea. But God is telling you to be still. You know, again, abundance is not something you chase after. It's a being. It's a knowing that I've done the work. This is a season of rest and receiving. Okay? And then also, when you find yourself in a place of not being able to set still, not being able to allow abundance to happen to you, you, you can then go back to that scripture. Um, Seek ye first. The kingdom of God and his righteousness and all things will be added unto you. You know, so it's like right now a lot of us are in a season of rest, rest, recuperate, recuperate, rest, recuperate. Seek ye the kingdom of God and all things will be added unto you. Um, it's really not a place where you're doing a lot. And that could be the scariest thing for a person who has done a lot in their entire life, who makes things happen, who's a mover and shaker. But it's like, for some of us, you know, the message is, you know, God is saying, I blessed everything you wanted to do. You wanted to bring into fruition. Now it's time for you to listen to instruction from me. Of course, the blessing will be there. But it could even be that you're moved into or you're repositioned into something else. But in order to get you to slow down and actually know here, you have to be in a place of complete inertia, not moving. And that, for a lot of us, might be the hardest thing to do. And it's a great test of your faith. For you can't please God. You can't serve God without faith. Works without faith. Instead, faith without works. It's, you know, you begin flip, flop, flop. You've got to have both. And what God is telling us is that a lot of us have really been acting on or acting out our works. We've been doing a lot. And that's great. You've been accomplishing a lot. You've been doing a lot. There's been some some great wins, maybe there's even been some losses, but you you just kept moving and you kept believing in self first and knowing that God had you. But now you've got to do it in the reverse. Believe in God first, in his word, in his instruction, and then, you know, believe in yourself in, in what God ever instructs you, whatever God instructs you to do. So, right now, it's just really a time of setting still a lot of you have done enough there's no more you can do this is a place where you're really going to be tested in regards to what you believe in who you believe in is it just you is it just you believe in your own abilities your own accomplishment you know is it just you believing in your own mind it says, trust in the Lord with all your desires. So desires are about the heart, right? And don't rest against your own insight or judgment, you know? In everything, in all of your doing, in all of you, you know, in all of your manners, just recognize the fact and importance, the quality of God, and he will intend to control the operations and govern your course of action. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. So it's it's like you have to do, it, it's reversed, it's flipped. Yeah. You have to really stop and say, 
okay, everything I've done, great. But now this will be, where does my God want me to go next? And I have to believe that. I'm going to hear that, hear the instruction, and I'm actually going to follow through with it and follow out, you know, follow the instruction. And then everything will be added unto me. This is also like when you talk about a season of abundance and receiving and more than enough and overflow. You have to set still. You have to be kind of in a place of, um, you know, inertia and stillness because when you're, okay, so it, it, just imagine yourself like running on a track. You keep running around the track. And I'm like waving at you and telling you I've got something for you, but you just keep running around the track. How do I get this thing to you? It's either I chase after you or you stop. And that's what God is asking us to do. Stop running around the track. You've done enough. You've done enough running around the track. You've done enough. It's time to stop and receive. It's a place. It's a season of receiving. We're, if you're in the northern hemisphere, you're in the fall season. So this is a time of really um, taking stock of, reevaluating, and then it's also a passive energy. So you can let things pass, let things go, and then also just rest. You're not doing anything. Even the, you know, some of the um, vegetation plants. This is a season of them shedding their leaves. Shedding and just resting from the whole growth process, the, the budding and the the buzzing and the blooming and the blossoming, that stopped. The creation process has stopped. Now you're going into recuperation, rest, so that you can then be met with that season of blooming and blossoming. I just feel like a lot of us. Are in a place of really, really having to trust. And trust can be synonymous with faith. Really having to act on your faith. Really having to act it out. So that will mean in your doing, in your everyday movement. And you're, you cannot just say you believe. And you believe in God. And, you, you, and I know he's going to bless me. And he's going to do this. And he's going to do this. And bless my plans. And I'm manifesting. And I'm... X, Y, and Z, and blah, blah, blah. But really, deep down inside, in your heart's desire, you're like, if I do all of these things, if I keep doing, if I keep going, if I keep doing, if I keep moving this way, moving fast, and getting it done, then, I'll, then, it'll, then I will have accomplished that. It will be done. And all you do is pray to God that he bless your plan for your life. And right now he's saying it should be the reverse. You should be asking me what's the plan for my life. What's the will and testament for my life in you, God? How do you get the glory? How do you get the honor? Because I've done enough in terms of accomplishing for me. Now it needs to be the other way around. So that you can have that abundance. So that you can be in a place of just receiving and just coming to you and you're not always chasing and doing and trying to I'm starting this and I'm starting that and I've got a new job and I've got a this and I, oh and then I'm gonna start a business and, and you're running yourself raggedy you're, you're you just keep running around that track and God is waving over in the corner like I got something for you you know this yoke is easy it's burning it's light and you just Hey, if you come over here, you won't have to run around that track anymore. So that's what the message is today. If you if you if you want to, you can kind of um, the tarot card that would be kind of um, significant to today's message would be like the Empress. You know, like you have to stop and be in a place of receiving. The Empress is the Empress. She's created a, a, a throne in the midst of wilderness. She's created something for herself. She's used all of her 
God given her talents, abilities, and now she's just in a place of receiving. So some of you just need to be in that place of receiving, be in a place of knowing that it's all working out for you. It's all coming together. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Look those words up and what does that mean? Seek ye first the kingdom. How do you do that? Because that's like, that is something that you need to do, right? Maybe we'll go into that in another session. Um, yeah, that's what I have for you guys. Um, again, it's going to be the, the biggest try and test of your faith. I think this is the big mountain before you go into the season of, or the, the land of milk and honey, or the season of overflow. Can you trust me? Is what God is asking. Do you trust me? I know you trust in yourself and your own abilities and your own mindset. And I blessed you with that great mind, but can you really stop and believe that all things are going to be added unto you, especially those who are seeking first the kingdom of God? That's what I have for you. If you have questions about this, if you want to talk further about this, you can drop them down in the comment section. You can also email me. We can talk about it. If you have questions about what's going on in your life, you can always email me and I'll try to do a post about it and, and how it can relate or give you some words of advice that, um, that will come to me. Um, so that's how we can connect. I do not read the Tarot for um, anyone it would be specific people. I think those people know who they are. And only read. Uh, you can only ask questions about yourself. So they can't be about anyone else. So only to be about you. And it's, I don't read publicly you know, for the public anymore. But if you have questions, if you want advice in, in regards to you know my own mindset. If you feel like I give good advice, you can always ask questions. And I'll try to advise you best as possible and give you some real world advice. It might not even it it could possibly not even be spiritual. It could just be practical advice, you know. Uh, so drop down in the comment section. Let me know how this message uh, really blessed you or helped you get through, um, or maybe it resonated with you or. Um, Maybe you can make sense of it all. Now you can. Um, if you have questions, you want to talk about it further, you can do that. You can also email me. My email address is in the description box. Um, thank you. Take care. Many blessings to all of you. Okay. Try to get out of here.